Solapur is a prominent city located in the southwestern region of the Indian state of Maharashtra. With a population of about 10 lakh citizens and growing, Solapur has a thriving industry and economy. In order to provide better sanitation for its residents, Solapur Municipal Corporation envisioned the implementation of a sewage scheme consisting of a network of sewer lines leading up to three sewage treatment plants. The sewage treatment plants were to have a combined treatment capacity of 102.5 million litres per day, that is a capacity of 102.5 MLD. With financial support from the government of Maharashtra, the proposed scheme was brought into reality. The largest of the three sewage treatment plants is the 75 MLD capacity STP located at Degao on Mangalvedha Road. This sewage treatment plant is designed and built on sequential batch reactor technology coupled with biogas power generation which is the most cutting edge technology in use in India. This STP uses biological processes instead of chemicals to break down the pollutants. An advanced processing tank also known as combi treat unit has been constructed to reduce the energy requirement of the plant this sewage treatment plant is completely automated using a PLC SCADA system the sewage treatment plant has been designed and constructed by HNB engineers Pune the plant is located on the banks of Shelgi Nala which flows through and carries sewage generated from parts of the city that are not connected by sewer network Near the STP site, the sewage flowing from the Nala is halted by way of a KT weir built along the width of the Nala. Using an intake well, about 50 MLD flow of sewage is received from the Nala and remaining 25 MLD sewage is received from the sewer lines connecting to households in Solapur. Two pumping stations of 50 and 25 MLD capacities pump a combined volume of 75 million litres of sewage every day to the sewage treatment plant. The raw sewage passes through coarse and medium screens located inside the pumping stations, where the floating, large-sized material is separated. The screening process increases the life of pumps. Fine screens are used to remove floating material of size 6 mm or more sand and other inert particles with specific gravity of about 2.65 settle in the grit chambers and are taken out using a screw conveyor. The sewage flows from a channel into a uniquely designed tank also known as combi treat unit. This tank functions as primary clarifier, sludge digester as well as a gas holder. About 50% pollutants such as biochemical oxygen demand and total suspended solids gets settled in the primary clarifier portion of this tank and get collected into the sludge digester portion. This process of settling takes place by gravity and without the use of any power consuming machinery or chemicals. The settled pollutants are broken down by anaerobic bacteria which make the pollutants harmless and safe for disposal. A byproduct of the anaerobic reaction is biogas which flows up through the digester and into the gas holder portion of the combi treat unit. About half of the pollutants settle in the combi treat unit and the remaining half flows into the SBR basin for secondary treatment. The SBR basins are deep concrete tanks which hold a large amount of aerobic bacteria. Each basin is equipped with an independent grid of diffusers, decanters and sludge removal pumps. Three cycles of fill, aerate, settle and decant are performed in sequence in each of the basins for 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The first cycle, also known as the fill slash aerate cycle, consists of filling of the SBR basin with sewage from combi treat unit. Compressors located in the blower room pump air from a pipe into a grid of diffusers located at the bottom of the tank. The bacteria thrive on the oxygen from this pumped air and oxidize the pollutants rapidly. The pollutants are broken down by the bacteria and become harmless and easy to dispose of in the form of sludge. After a specified duration, the PLC system stops the flow of air into the basin ending the first of the three cycles. 
The sludge, which was in suspension, begins to settle, marking the start of the second cycle. As settling cycle progresses, a layer of sludge is formed at the bottom of the basin and a layer of clear treated sewage remains at the top. Once the entire sludge is settled, the third cycle, that is the decanting cycle, is started. In this cycle, the decanter moves gradually downwards and separates out upper clear portion of sewage from the basin. The clear portion of sewage is conveyed to a chlorine contact tank. A dose of chlorine is given to the sewage, oxidizes the harmful bacteria and pathogens present in the sewage and make it harmless for disposal back into Shelgi Nala. The entire process is very efficient. PLC slash SCADA automation and settling of 50% organic matter in CombiTreat unit helps reduce electricity requirement for the STP. The treatment process in CombiTreat unit generates biogas. The biogas is scrubbed for removing harmful impurities such as H2S and is then supplied as fuel to generate power from electricity generators. The generated electricity is used to offset the electricity demand of sewage treatment plant. The advantages of this sewage treatment plant are 1. Superior treated sewage characteristics 2. Completely automated operation 3. Very low power consumption 4. Biogas power generation 5. Harmless and reusable treated effluent